vet was still in business. Yeah, we've changed our address, trimmed down a few of our operations. But by any rumours you've heard that we're closing down are way off beat. OK, thanks. See you later. Cheers. Another of our old customers transferring their business elsewhere. I think we should do a mail shot. A big one. Advertise the fact we're still in business. We can't afford it, Kim. It'll cost a fortune. Only if you contract the work out. If we do it ourselves, we've only the paper and postage oh, to pay. Come on. We don't want to waste our time doing donkey work like that. We did it in the old days, when you were just starting out. You told me often enough. Yeah, I suppose we did. So how's it work? Target our old contacts plus a few hundred new ones? Yeah, that's it. Look, let's say a thousand to make it worthwhile. I'll draft a letter and print it, and you two sort out names and addresses. And we all muck in licking and sticking. God, <laughs> what a come down. <laughs> oh, Kim. Oh, morning, Kathy. Just to remind you, that breeder's coming this afternoon. Oh, Lord, he is. Three o'clock, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Forgotten all about it. Thanks. Oh, Kathy, could you take Dancer out for me this morning? I'm not going to have time. Yeah, OK. Thanks. Chris. Chris, you fancy eating out tonight? Oh, no chance. We're getting together this big promotion. God knows what time we'll finish. Oh, well. Sorry. Never mind. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, any chance of a coffee? Oh, you'll have to make it yourself, Nick. I haven't got time. I've got to take Dancer out, then when I get back, I've got to go out again with one of the others. No rest for the wicked, eh? Oh, I don't mind. They've all got to be exercised. At least it gets me out of the house. Well, not another one. Elsa keeps saying the only time she ever gets to go out is when she's pushing the pram. She's OK, isn't she? Yeah, she's all right. Well, she thinks nobody wants to come and see her. Only the baby. She'll be all right, though. You want to get out a bit, give her a break. Oh, I ask her, but every time I do, she says she's too busy. Sounds familiar. Anyway, we can't really afford it, Kath. Well, at least Elsa's got you rushing home to her every night. I like some people I could mention working all hours. Chris, I thought you'd be seeing too much of him now he's working at home. You've got to be kidding. He's through there with Frank and Kim all the time. Only comes to the flat to eat and sleep, and that's if I'm lucky. Oh, look, it's only a phase. Until they sorted the business out. You wait. Don't let it get you down, OK? Yeah, I'm trying. In fact, I might go out tonight, cheer myself up a bit. I'm sick of moping about that flat on my own. Anyway, I must go. See you. See you. Well, I wanted a clown or a magician, something like that. <laughs> no, thanks. My son's going to be five years old. Don't think he'd reckon much to a stripper, Graham. What was all that about? Parties galore. Got half a dozen naked ladies available, but nothing for kids. Said I've left it too late. Oh, well, never mind. We've got lots of Robert's friends coming over for his birthday. That'll do him. Well, what the hell are we going to do with them all for two and a half hours? Over to you, Jack. Children's parties are definitely not my forte. They'll run riot if we're not careful. Wreck the place. They're little savages, you know. Well, give them a slap up tea, do a few party games, same as everyone else. Oh, you've no imagination, Sarah. If I'm going to organise a children's party, it's going to be the party to end all parties. Mm. Have you got a bit of paper? What's all this? Oh, just some of Rachel's travel brochures. All right. Getting itchy feet, are we? I'm only having a look. I haven't had a holiday since I came to Emmerdale. What did you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. A couple of weeks laying in the sun, sipping the odd cocktail. There you go again. What do you mean? No imagination. Well, we can think of something a bit more adventurous than that, surely to God. Such as? Well, I don't know. Mountaineering, scuba diving, potholing. Potholing? Well, something different anyway. Something with a bit of a challenge to it. A holiday to end all holidays. <laughs> Jack? Jack? I thought you had a place at Exeter. Oh, it just seems daft going all that way down south when I could be somewhere much nearer home. You mean Leeds or somewhere? Yeah, if they'll take me. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? What? Well, when you think of us both a couple of years ago, planning our A-levels, I thought we'd both be going into university, planning a career. Now look at me, stuck with a baby before I start. Don't be daft. You can always pick it up again. Everyone says it's best to have babies early. Do they? Yeah. Then you're still young enough to go back to work once they're off your hands. 
Oh yeah, I can just see me going back to Turner's when Alice is 18 asking for my old job back. I'll be middle-aged by then. <laughs> don't be daft. You don't have to wait that long. You can get a part-time job whenever you want. Oh, what have I got to offer? A few months office experience and a bit of typing. Well, you want to go to night school, get some qualifications. <laughs> And what do I do with this little madam? Take her with me. Well, there's always Nick to babysit, you know. Oh. Yeah, the trouble with doing anything at night is I get so tired feeding and washing and getting up in the night. I fall asleep as soon as I sit down. Still, she's worth it, isn't she? Oh, yeah. And there's one thing. You don't need any qualifications looking after babies. Just don't understand it. We're selling any amount of bottled beer. Why won't they buy the draft? Because it's no damn good. If you hadn't struck that deal with Skip... Well, I have, and that's an end to it. Amos and I had no problem selling Monks' bitter. Oh, really? And we had a realistic sales target. Well, if I had known then what I know now, I wouldn't have agreed to Skipdale's sales targets. It's just that I'm committed to them now. I've got to keep them happy. I've got to get my barrage up. I suppose we could put some bar snacks out, salted peanuts, that kind of thing, make everyone thirsty. No, no, I tried that in the first week, you know, olives and so on. Seth thought it was Christmas, he scoffed the lot. What about a happy hour? Oh, no, Caroline, I'm not, I'm not serving cocktails at half price in the vain hope that they'll top up with pints of beer afterwards. No, this would be a happy hour, Beckingdale style. Draft beer and lager would be half price, not the wines and spirits. Oh, I see. Well, get the punters in early, get them on pints, and then they'll stick with them all evening. With a bit of luck. Yeah, yeah that, that's brilliant. Well, we'll try that tonight. I'll, I'll, um, I'll do a couple of posters. Another gimmick? It's getting desperate, Henry. Anything's worth a try. I'm a bit stuck with this party of Robert, you know. I mean, what sort of games do you play if you're five years old? Well, this is a long time ago. I don't know. Hunt the symbol, blind man's buff. It's a bit run of the mill. And I was thinking of having a treasure hunt, hiding clues all over the house. I can barely read yet. All oh, right. I'm not having kids invading our bedroom. Oh. What's the matter? Feeling your age? No, just overworked. Hey, what about this holiday idea of yours? I think I could do with it. Oh, that was just a daydream. We can't get away this time of year. Why not? Well, you should know. You're the farmer. Oh, to hell with farming. I mean, if I had a tent and a backpack now, I'd just hit the road. Leave the world behind. Live rough for a couple of weeks. In your condition, you must be kidding. No, I'm not in a wheelchair yet, you know. Yeah. Well, you look as if you soon will be. Hi. Hello. I was hoping I'd see you up here. On your own today. Kim's very busy, that's all. In fact, they all are. Keeping a family business afloat. Hmm. I'm a bit sick of it all, to be honest, rattling around in that flat on my own. Thought I might go out tonight. Oh, good idea. Suppose you don't fancy coming with me. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we could have a nosh up in Robblesfield. Great. Oh, I don't know, Jack. I don't think they take wheelchairs at the King of Prussia. Bucker? What on earth did that? I thought it was some sort of pot plant. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yucca. Ucker's the advisory centre for university applications. Oh. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have known either, love. I thought your application was all sorted out. Well, I've still got time to change my mind. Rachel. Don't worry, Joe. I'm not ducking out. I'm just looking at for other options. Leeds, for example. There's no problems with Exeter, is there? No, it's just miles away from here. I mean, Leeds is only an hour and a half. Not well, a very good reason for choosing university, though. Well, if it means I can get home more often, I'd say that's a very good reason. Oh, you're not kidding. And here was me thinking I wasn't going to see you again. No, oh, you've no need to worry. I'm going to be around for a good while yet. Well, how does that look? Fine. Right, well, I'll just put this one outside. Catch any passing trade. Hmm. Happy hour, I ask you. I know it was your idea, Caroline, but really. I'm sorry if it's upset you, Henry. No, oh, it doesn't upset me. I'm just getting set in my ways. Can't get used to the new regime. Keep thinking of Amos. What would he have said to all these promotions and gimmicks? I think he might rather have enjoyed them. Mm, ah, ah, perhaps you're right. <laughs> In fact, I'm sure you are. So, uh, just keep me trapped shut and try to see the funny side. Well, as you've opened up, you won't want me cutting up the bar, so I'll get out of your way. 
And he's getting awfully crotchety, isn't he? Can't say I blame him. Well, every time I try and do something new in this place, I keep getting these great waves of disapproval. It, it's getting me down, I tell you. Well, hadn't you better have a word with him, then? Ask him what his plans are. Well, how can I? What on earth can I say? Well, I dare say you'll think of something, Alan. You're not often lost for words. Oh, thank you, Gamma. It's tact you're a bit short on. Henry is still part of the wool pack, you know. Yes, that's the trouble. He's in danger of becoming a permanent fixture. I think it's time I nudged him on his way. glasses somewhere. What for? Well, for the happy hour. We're going to be rushed off our feet. We need all the glasses we can get our hands on. Ah. Oh. You can't have that. That's my coronation mug. Maggie gave me that in 1953. Funny to think if she'd lived, I'd never have come to Beckendale. Never met Amos. Never have come to the Woolpack. Amazing the twist life can take, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Now, and if somebody had told me a year ago that I'd be the landlord of the bull pack, I'd have laughed in their faces. Mm, I reckon I would have known. Well, I mean, you and Amos are two of the most respected men in Beckendale. I mean, you, you were the wool pack. Mm. And now... I'm just a hanger-on. No, no. Well, it's no. the truth, isn't it? Must be very irritating for you, having an old man shambling about the place, getting in the way. Henry, nothing could be further from my thoughts. I, and you're always welcome to have a home here. Well, you know, I, I mean... Uh... I know exactly what you mean. You won't throw me out, but the sooner I finalise my plans for the future, the better you'll be pleased. Isn't that about the size of it? Well, I, I wouldn't... I'll be was... moving on as soon as I can. But in the meantime, I'll try to stick to my room. Keep out of your way altogether, in fact. What's the joke, then? Oh, nothing. I'm just dead chuffed about it, right? Yeah, hang on, hang on. Nothing is settled yet. I mean, even if she does want to change in her verses, if she can't do it on her own, say so. There's other formality to work out, you know. Yeah, I know, but she's thinking about it. That's the main thing. I mean, I bet she could get in anywhere with her results. Two A's and a B's not bad, eh? Yeah, hey? not bad at all. Well, that's good timing. Just in time for milking. You're joking. We've been lugging stones around all day. We're exhausted. Well, Jack is. I'm all right, but then I've got youth on my side. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thing. Come on, I'll run you a salt bath and rub some embrocation in. We've got to get you back in shape for this evening's entertainment. What? We're going out for a meal with Cathy, remember? Oh, no way. I'm not going out tonight. I just want to stay in and put my feet up. I don't believe it. Is this the man who wanted to go backpacking looking for adventure? Yeah, oh, not tonight. He doesn't... <laughs> the only excitement I want is planning my son's birthday party. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And I'll have another. Still tastes like this water, but at least it doesn't cost no. Is that a price, sir? Yeah, good heavens, yes. Uh, I gave way enough at Easter. I'm not making that mistake again. I heard it was free, didn't he? Oh, but that rubbish, otherwise. Come on, please, please. What is going on? Excuse van, me. van, van. Yeah. Is it's worse than a football crowd. Beckendale pays tribute to America. Happy hour at the Wolfpack. Happy? It's hysterical. What? You mean the drinks are half price? Oh, great. We have two gin and please, Mum. Sorry. It's only the beer, love. Spirit's the usual price. Oh, I see. Happy hour Wolfpack style. <laughs> Fancy a pint of bitter then, Cathy? Well, one of us has got to drive mine. Yeah. I'll have an orange juice, Mum. OK, and a half for me, please. Coming yeah. up. Will you have Hi. a moment, landlord? Right. Yes, I'm coming as quick as I can, sir. I think I deserve a pat on the back, don't you? Why is that, Alan? Well, dreaming all this up. We're absolutely packed to the doors. I should have thought of it ages ago. Now, wasn't there anything else? Is she OK? Yeah, fine. Well, look, why don't we put her in the cot? Go down the wool pack for a couple of cheap drinks. Oh, no, I couldn't face it. You go if you want. Oh, don't be daft. I want to go with you. Anyway, we've not been out for ages. No, well, I'm not going anywhere looking like this. Mm, like what? All fat and frumpy. Oh, don't be daft, Elsa. I don't care what you look like. Well, so I am fat and frumpy. No, of course you're not. I am. And what... What's brought this on? Nothing. I just don't want to go out, that's all. Oh, I see. Well, there's no point. I've got nothing to say to anybody. All I can talk about is babies. Well, that's all I talk about these days, too. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, mind. <laughs> yeah. 
Are you sure you don't want to go out? Yeah. Well then, looks like it's a night in with Alice Rose then. <laughs> now look what you've done. Hey. Only two more minutes. <laughs> Thank heaven for that. Oh. I've had enough of this. Yeah, me too. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, feel free. What, leaving already? Ah, uh, hardly stop. Uh, I don't think we can stand the pace, though. Oh, sorry. It's a madhouse. I'm not kidding. Oh, better get one in quicker before it strikes seven. Two fights here, Mr Turner, quick as you can. Uh, sorry, gentlemen, you're too late. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> uh, the happy hour's over now, I'm afraid. Yeah, all drinks at full price from now on. Oh. Uh, that's uh, three pints, was it, sir? Not likely. You think we're barmy or something? We're not stopping here, stopping this rubbish. Everybody out! <laughs> the devil's going on! Well, then, is that taking with your happy hour? Is everyone is sent down at multiple? Seven o'clock while eight? All the dirty, conniving tricks! I'm very enterprising, I call it. Come on, lad. We wasted time. <laughs> Stop out for an hour too. Right. Not you too, Henry. Eh? Stabbing me in the back? Going to the malt shovel? Do you know what he's on about? Damned if I do. Well, Alan, looks like we've got another happy hour ahead of us. Washing up. Hey, this is great. Yeah, I wish Jeff could have come, though. Oh, Cathy, we're better off without him, believe me. He'd have spent the whole evening droning on about his adventurous youth. <laughs> great holidays I have known. Backpacking in Transylvania, you know, that sort of thing. Sounds familiar. <laughs> He's got a bee in his bonnet at the moment about taking off into the unknown and finding adventure. Oh, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? <laughs> it's just talk. He'll be lying on the sofa now, nursing his back and feeling sorry for himself. Jack's backpacking days are over, I promise you. <laughs> oh! Oh. Hi, Joe. Hello. I thought you'd be getting happy at the wall pack. Nah, Michael's gone. I didn't fancy it. Still dead set on changing, then? Well, if you do go to Leeds, you make him a very happy man. Who? Michael, of course. Well, what's it got to do with him? Well, I had a little chat with him. I gather you're quite serious. Well, we're not that serious. Yeah, but you want to see him as much as you can. I mean, you don't stand much chance so far apart. But I'm not changing universities because of Michael. It's Mum I'm thinking about. I want to be here when she comes home. I mean, I couldn't stand not seeing her, not after such a long time. Look, it's your future that counts. And Kate would be the first to say that. So if you want to go to your first choice, you should do. I'm sure she'd understand. You know, I sometimes think living with the Tates is like being mixed up with the Mafia. Happy. Honestly, I mean, there they all are, shut away in the sitting room at home farm, plotting and planning how to recover the family fortune. I might as well not exist. I know I shouldn't take it all so seriously. I try not to. But it's hard being left out of time. Well, why not do something about it? Force Chris to pay attention. Why what, hold a gun to his head? Oh, I don't know. Tell him he's got to take a night off. Get some tickets for the pictures, book a restaurant. What, make him an offer he can't refuse? <laughs> exactly. That was an absolute fiasco. We've been empty all evening. Might just as well shut up shop and go home. We might get a few in for the last hour. Oh, I doubt it. The only Shuttleworth's got them all in thrall at the malt shovel. Well, there's always been a healthy rivalry between him and the wool pack. We're just getting our first taste of it, that's all. There is nothing healthy about Ernie Shuttleworth. The man is a poisonous little snake. I could murder him. Pinching my happy hour, luring my customers away from under my very note. Oh! Sue, <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Feel this milk you'll have, sure. <laughs> there you are. You see, I told you my old friends wouldn't let me down. <laughs> now, what's it to be, Seth? Pint of the best, eh? Uh, no, just an empty glass, Mr Turner. Sorry? 
Ernie's is running out of beer mugs down at Motsonbush. Thank you very much. I knew you wouldn't let an old pal down. Have a good time. Yeah, we had a good laugh. Shame you missed it. How's the back? Oh, so so. What's all this? <clears throat> the rucksack. Uh, well, I can see that. Been all over the world with me, that has. Yeah, it looks way past its prime. A bit like its owner. Do you mind? I'm uh, inventing a new game for the children's party. Pass the rucksack, it's called. Oh, yes. And what's the prize in it? A tent peg? Oh, emergency rations. Oh, I say, we are getting serious. All right, you can laugh. I know you all think it's one big joke. Me? Never. I just think you're daft. Yeah, well, you would. You just wait. When we're off camping somewhere, you'll be glad you were someone so well prepared. I've told you I'm not going camping anywhere. I'm quite happy to admit I'm too old for that lark. Frank Tate and Son, still first for haulage, now operating from home farm Beckendale. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Looks as if we're desperate for work. No, it doesn't. It's no different from advertising in the trade magazine or doing a telephone campaign. Yeah, except that it's a damn sight cheaper. <laughs> oh, I suppose you're right. It's just a bit of a come down after all those business lunches. Your trouble is you've been spoilt coming into a company that's up and running. Too used to all the gloss. And now you're having to slum it, starting from the bottom, just like I did. Mm. When every penny had to cut. <laughs> oh, yeah? Had a nice time? Yeah, lovely, thanks. Sarah really cheered me up. Good. You still working? Yeah, you bet. Can I be any use? What, with this law? I'd like to help. What do you think? Is there anything we can give Cathy to do? Not unless she wants to sit up half the night licking stamps. I don't mind. No, we can manage. No, you go to bed. But Chris, I'm... No, honestly, don't argue. <laughs> Just go to bed. Honestly. Love you. 